In this video, I'll show you how you can set up AI automation with new video model generation Sora 2. And you can do it inside NA10 with unlimited amount of videos. And also you don't need any invite codes to do this. Uh, first, I'll show you a quick demo how it works. And then I'll walk you through step by step how you can set up this automation. And you can get this template for free inside my school community. So check out the link in the description. So let's first see how it works. Uh, this automation understands voice, text and images. And the best part that you can just give a single line prompt, AI agent enhances this prompt and then in just a couple minutes create this nice realistic video. Uh, let me show you the first example. I already created a couple videos to make videos shorter. So first one, uh, I just recorded a voice message. A man is giving an interview to a woman with a microphone about the new video model generation Sora 2 with the Eiffel Tower background in Paris. And then AI agent automatically enhances this prompt to make video better. And then we have this video. Movement, all of it. Let's see. It, it's kind of surreal, honestly. Sora 2 takes what we thought was possible and pushes it way further. You can feed it a few lines and it builds an entire scene that feels alive. Lighting, movement, all of it. And it does it faster. It's so that's really cool, yeah? Absolutely realistic video and also we can create from images. Uh, by the way, right now uh, OpenAI doesn't allow create uh, videos from realistic images. So I tried this one, I tried this one and uh, it's not allowed and the only allowed videos is from like uh, pictures. Yeah, uh, I tried this picture and now we have this the video. Of social media is going to be driven by synthetic video. Not just clips made by people using AI, but entire streams of content generated on the fly around e So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that uh, the best part that you just need to put single line prompt and AI agent enhances it and you give just a super realistic video, yeah? So now uh, you can connect this automation to Telegram, to WhatsApp, to Airtable or any other platform you use. So let me show you how to set up this automation. You don't need to build it from scratch, just get my free template inside my community and I'll explain how it works. Uh, first we start with of course trigger and here is Telegram trigger where we receive voice, message and image. Yeah, so uh, if you don't know how to set up Telegram, you open the trigger, find credential, press here, create new credential and here you add your access token. Let me show you how you can do this. You find the bot father inside the Telegram, which has username, this one bot father. Then you press open here and press create new bot. Then you create your bot create the username uh, in the end uh, it should be bot then you press create and you have API key you copy this API key and you are good to go you have this bot uh, where you can uh, use all your automations so you copy this key and press paste here to access token then press save and you see that connection tested successfully. But I already have my Telegram bot, so I choose it. Uh, then after this, all you need to do is just insert your API key and choose the ratio. You can choose portrait or landscape video. So where can you find the API key? You register to Kai AI uh, platform. So let's open it. I will leave all the links in the description. So open this uh, platform, just register with your email and then you open uh, here dashboard and you find API key. And all you need to do is, is just to copy and paste it here. And of course don't show your API keys to anyone. So this API key I immediately remove after recording this video. So you, you put here your API key and you choose ratio of the video, portrait or landscape. Yeah, you just type portrait or landscape. That's it. After that, we have a switch node which uh, switches uh, voice to video, text to, uh, text to video and image to video. So if we send voice message, we get this audio file, then we need to transcribe it 
and then pass it to our uh, text to image prompt creator, which is our AI agent. Uh, if we use text, we just pass it right away. Then we have AI agent, which is prompt creator. And here we have a system prompt that AI agent is a video prompt engineer. We have a task. So this uh, AI agent enhances the first prompt to make your video looks better. And um, very important part that we have an output format always return in JSON safe string. Yeah, uh, in order we don't have any problems in the future and return only the string, no markdown, commentary or uh, labels. So we use this prompt and we put our user message from uh, text or our recording. Then after this, so we use uh, OpenAI, I use GPT-5 or you can use, for example, Claude. Then after this, we have uh, output of the final prompt which we pass to text to video generator. Okay, so and here we have uh, Kai API uh, URL, so with the method post. And all we need to do is just to use authorization. We, we have Beerer plus our uh, API key and we have a JSON, body JSON, that model, text to video. We pass our prompt here, yeah, put our prompt. Uh, and put our uh, aspect ratio, okay? And when we put our prompt, it's very important to use JSON stringify function in order not to break our JSON. And we have quality, we have two types of quality, HD and standard, and the price is the same, so always use uh, HD quality. And uh, what about the price? Yeah, the price is pretty affordable. You can find it here if we open API market. We open Sora 2 and see the price that uh, Sora 2 costs 20 credits, which 10 cents per one 10 seconds video. Yeah, so it's pretty cheap and you don't have any invite codes and all this stuff. Just around 10 cents uh, per one video. Uh, and the current API has watermark. Yeah, I think in the future, yeah, they said that we are working on the version without watermark. I, I see that, I think that uh, this month they will remove the watermark, but in the end of the video, I will show you how you can remove it right now. Okay, we use this body JSON and then we just uh, need to wait to get the status. So how the video creation works, first we create the task. Yeah, we have two steps. First to create the, uh, the tasks uh, and then to get the status. If we get the status success, then we download the video. If we have the uh, status waiting, we just check the status again in th uh, 30 seconds. I put here 30 seconds. So to create one video right now takes around two to four minutes. And I think it's uh, due to high increase to OpenAI servers. But for now it takes here yeah, from two to four minutes. So you can put here 30 or 60 seconds. So uh, then here we check the status. If the status, which is state, yeah, is success, then we go to downloading the video. And here we use JSON parse. So we parse our URL because we receive the URL. Uh, I don't see it here right now. Yeah, but we see the URL like uh, pretty confusing. That's why we parse uh, this result JSON to get the clean URL to download the file and don't worry just use this function okay uh, after that uh, when we get uh, our URL we have if we view we're here on Ocean Drive yeah. what do you think of Sora 2 so far it's wild in the best way I mean the realism is next so now we have the binary file and after that we can send it to anywhere we need so we can send it to telegram to Airtable, to email whenever you want so, and then we just send our uh, binary file, which is our video. We send it to Telegram. I put here chat ID, yeah, uh, send video operation. And also 
I attach the prompt. So I send the second message with this enhanced prompt, right? Just to understand what's the video and what was the prompt in order you can improve it or make the second version of this video with another prompt and to understand what prompt did you use. Okay, and now we have this message to our Telegram bot with video and with the prompt for this video, okay? And if we have any errors, uh, we use in this node settings, we choose on error, continue using error output, and we just send the message that video generation error, try again, okay? Uh, with the chat ID. So this is the first part, which translates text to video and also, uh, let's see the second part, which uh, creates from image our video, okay? Uh, in the switch node, if we, re uh, we send the photo, okay, and if the photo exists, we understand that this is image, and then we send um, our workflow to this part. Uh, this is image to video prompt creator. Uh, the prompt is very similar, but it has a little bit nuances that we create prompt for the image, yeah, not from scratch. Uh, so this is image to video prompt creator. We, uh, we put a uh, user message, yeah, uh, from the caption. You need to send, uh, so how it works, yeah? We need to send first uh, the photo and the caption to the photo in one message to get this system work, okay? And the, uh, the AI agent gets the caption from Telegram, from the v uh, photo. Um, we use again here GPT-5. So then we find the top photo from Telegram because the way Telegram works is when you send a picture to Telegram, it creates multiple versions with different resolutions. And our goal is to get the highest quality of the photo to get the best quality video, yeah? So this node uh, finds the, the highest uh, resolution from all these uh, versions of photo. Uh, so just uh, don't worry, you can just copy this uh, node and use it. After that, we get the photo, so we download this photo from Telegram and then we upload it to Google Drive because our goal is to pass the direct link to this picture. So we uh, upload it to Google Drive. So. We do it right here, yeah, and uh, if you uh, don't have credential with Google Drive, just press here, press create new credential, and uh, you can use client ID and client secret, and you can find this in my school community, how to set up this uh, connection. And if you use NA10 in cloud version, it's way easier. You don't have these fields, you just need to press this button, sign in with Google. So there will be a button in cloud version, just press here, and in pop-up window, confirms and you are good to go. So uh, I'll close it right now. Then we upload and we share the link to our image. Then we use set node just to set the um, direct link to uh, open this image, okay? And after that, we use the same that we use here. But here we use text to video and here we use uh, HTTP request to Kai API to create a task with photo to video. Okay, again, we use the same authorization and body JSON. It's a little bit different that we have Sora to image uh, to video. We have prompt with again JSON stringify. We have image URLs. We have aspect ratio and quality again HD quality. Yeah. Um, after that, we have everything the same. We wait. Yeah, 30 seconds, or you can use a little bit more. And we, we checking the status. Uh, if the status is success, then we downloading the video and again send to Telegram uh, with video and with our prompt. And we use the prompt from AI agent. So we, we put our chat ID and we use the text with uh, this note. Yeah, AI agent. Uh, we use the enhanced prompt. 
so we can better understand how the system uh, creates video and what we need to improve in the next video generation and the error again is the same so uh, this way you can create unlimited amount of video just for 10 seconds per video and the last question is how to remove watermarks because if you see here yeah we have a watermarks Live. lighting movement all of it so we have two options first we can uh, do it manually that I'll show you in this video and in the next video I will show you how you can add uh, automation just to automatically uh, remove these um, watermarks but for now I'll show you how to do it manually it takes like 30 seconds so first we need to download this video then I open this website magic eraser and here we can remove watermarks for free absolutely free uh, we open video tools video watermark remover and press upload video and just we upload our video and all we need to do is just to choose parts with uh, watermarks so we have it here we have the part here yeah let's remove this one we have the part here it usually has three watermarks and here right that's it yeah and we press remove now and that's it around 30 seconds and we are ready let's it, it's see it's kind of surreal honestly Sora 2 takes what we thought was possible and pushes it way further you can feed it a few lines and it builds an entire scene that feels alive lighting movement all of it and it doesn't so now we have video without watermarks uh, I see some pixels here yeah but it depends on the video because here is a pretty difficult structure and texture of the video uh, and in the next video I'll show you how you can do it automatically inside N8N so you don't even have to do anything manually and this way we can create a lot of videos for our social media or any other resources again grab this uh, template inside my school community it's absolutely free and also if you haven't found Sora code yet you can go to our school community where we sharing invite codes for free hit the like button if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one bye